Hey, Dave Boy Epson, ToyCarCollector.com. Check it out. You know what I'm doing right here? I am looking up all these boxes I got. Now, I am hoping that the cars for all these boxes are in the collection that I bought. But if not, I have plenty of other cars to put in these boxes because I have Matchbox. I love Matchbox. And what I'm doing here is I'm using my master list. This is my master check-in list that has all the numbers on it. Going to indicate uh, which car that I have, organize them by number, nice and numerically, of course. And then the S stands for the series box because I like to call this box the series box from about 1964. As a matter of fact, my favorite set is the 1964 catalog set of Matchbox. And of course, you got to have these boxes to go with those. So I'm going to do these boxes and then I'm going to do the older ones and the ones that come after. Because over here, the um, these are actually the boxes that came after the Matchbox series box. It still says Matchbox series. It's just that Matchbox box is in the arch. This is called the E-Box. The E-Box and the Matchbox. This one is called the D-Box. Before that came three other boxes, the Lesney box, which is the C, and the Moco box, which is the B, and then the Script box, which is Moco in a script writing, which is the A box. So let me get going on these and get them all nice and organized. All right, this is really cool. I got to share this with you. I'm separating out these boxes, you know, with trying to get them in organized by numbers, but <laughs> Look how many of these boxes there are. This is awesome. I've got all these loose cars too in my collection that need boxes. Lots and lots of mint cars and cases that need boxes desperately. I'm going to be able to box up a lot of my mint matchbox. And you know, if you collect matchbox, you know the matchbox boxes are worth more than the cars because they are so hard to get. But I had to make a video of this because this is really so rare you ever come across a bunch of boxes like this this is incredible really is amazing it's just a cool experience too just to go through them and have all these boxes as a matter of fact i probably should have folded i've got some extra boxes but they i keep them all in in shape as opposed to um folding them down like this but this folded boxes these are cool and these things have been folded literally forever so this is super cool 74, number 1, 43, 7, 33, it's cool. Number 1, 74, 72, look how many there are, this is crazy. 62, 8, 72, 28, oops, but in 20, 33, 75, 14, number 8, number 49. These are all the late 60s models, the ones that are super common. And still the boxes are hard to get, so that's what makes this really nice. 67, 24, 46, 69, and number 30, one of my favorites right there. All right, now i got to get these divided out and, and organized by number. All right. All right, next phase of this collection check-in is yesteryears. I'm going to work on yesteryears next. Now, I really love the yesteryears. It's a little disappointing what has happened to some of these early yesteryears over the last few years. They just do not have the value that they should have because they are super, super cool. Let's take a look at my checklist here. I'll show you how I divide up the models of yesteryear. I have a special system. I guess it's probably nothing special, but I like to keep the uh, earliest ones separate. I call them the, uh, in this case, I call them the 50s on this checklist. So these are all the A series, except for two. Two of the A series don't really fit into the A series because they're like cars, but uh, you know, like those old fashioned cars. So I keep all these and these are, in this box are going to be definitely A series. And then we're gonna look at the, uh, these are the ones that are mostly the old fashioned cars. So I call these the 60s yesteryears. They There are two A's, the uh, 16 and the 15, but the rest of them are B's and C models. So, you know, the way Matchbox works is that, you know, they come out with the first one. Let's give you an example here, like the Alchin tractor engine. That's a 1A, came out in 1956. And then over here, the 1B came out in 1964. So that means they made the Alchin uh, for eight years, and then they changed that model to the 1B Ford Model T. So that's the way that works. So let's, I'm going to check these in and uh, then I'll show you what I got. You might have seen this box earlier. 
and I thought there was some yesteryears in there and it turns out there was a ton of yesteryears in there look at all these look at that looks like the Munsters coach doesn't it number Y11 1912 Packard Londelay so this is the box that came after the uh, those other boxes we just looked at and then here's the box that came after that box so you got this series I've never had too many of this box right here it's pretty cool Y4 I got pretty much like everything in here look at that there's an extra box I guess that's from this series here's a 12 and then comes this box which is with the picture all right and then after the picture box comes the window box so we got the window box here the picture box I'm gonna try to get all these laid out here six let's put them on this side here's a 12 here's a 14 there's nothing in that one y9 nothing in there it's an empty box 10 right, 10 and 10 in the picture box let's move these out of the way so six three six pretty cool five I like that one. I just sold one of those and then I was like, ah, why did I sell that? I need one of those. An eight, nine. I need a display case for yesteryears. I've never really had a display case of yesteryears, but I think I'm gonna have to do it this time because they are just so cool. Here's that one. Let's see how we did. Y4. Let's get this picture. Let's see two. How about a one? Reaching over. Let's see how we did. 13, 14, we got 12, 13, 14, we got another 6. Oh, there's two different models in the 6 here. The earlier one. I hope that's the, it's either red or blue. And there's the number 8, 7, 8. So we don't have a, okay, let's see what we got here. Oh, here's the 1. So we got the, excuse my leg there. 1, 2, oh, three, 3. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, no, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. In that picture, another. Th oh, that's a different. One. That one goes over there. Okay, and in this picture box, we've got the four, five, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. We got some window boxes. Got a bunch of these last couple weeks ago too I like these are they're real neat one thing about yesteryears is they're mint condition they are beautiful let's look at this other box over here too this is kind of neat move over here let's see what's in here here's another yesteryear that goes to one of those boxes the lavender I love this one this one's super cool with the gold wheels yeah that's neat we got a couple more king size or possibly major pack on the racing transporters See, oh, here's another yesteryear. That's a neat one. What is that? That's the, uh, what is that? That's the Y10. Y10. Another one over there. What's this? It's wrapped up. Oh, hey, check it out. Mobile gas with gray wheels. It's a major pack. That's super cool. It's a Jaguar from the regular series. Whoops. Boops. Sorry, I'm so clumsy. Oh, here's the train. Love the train. This one's got the gold all over it. Goes over here in the town. Little train. Another tractor engine. That guy. Achelon. Isn't that the Achelon tractor? It's like number one or something. Okay, and what else? A couple more. Another race car in there, okay. And a bunch of catalogs. There's the tire I was missing. And another race car. Let's take these catalogs over and see what we got. Okay, we got 65, 64, 63. Those are good. Of course, the ones earlier than that are really good. We've got the uh, USA 68, a couple of those. Here's another 65, default international, 70, 69, 
All right, 69, a couple of those. A couple more, four 66s, that's nice. 70, another one of those. Here's a, what's this? That's the 69, but that's a different issue. Let's take a look here. We've got the uh, Collector's Catalog USA Edition, and then over here we got the Collector's Catalog International Edition. This is from Victoria, BC. Have to check that out and see what kind of differences there are. Here's an 81, 82. 78, 72, 72, all right, 71s, there's always a bunch of these in every collection, 71s, another 68 USA, okay, those are the same, here's a catalog, it's torn, a 68 USA, 67, it's neat. 67, 68, 68, 69, 70. There's just tons of those out there. 67 starts the little bit harder catalogs to get. And then after you get past way back beyond 65, then they get considerably more difficult to get. Okay, it is time to go through some A series matchbox models of yesteryear this is exciting for me I, maybe i don't sound excited but i am super excited and stoked there are 14 models of yesteryear let's see if we have all of them no we're missing let's see we got two three one two three four five six seven eight missing nine ten eleven twelve thirteen missing thirteen santa fe locomotive and i think i have some over there but let's go through these one at a time here, the first one is the Achelon Tractor Engine. Now, look at this baby. Can you focus on that? Isn't that beautiful? I'm taking it real slow so you can get a good look at that. This one is perfect. Now, they started making this model in 1956. Chances are this one was not one of the first ones made in 1956, but they didn't change this model till 1964, so this could have been made... 1963, maybe even 1964. It's just so pretty. So pretty. Number two is the 1911 B London bus. Let's take a look here. The B London bus. This one has a little black driver. There's probably some variations on this. Very, very nice. A little dusty. This thing is beautiful. At that let's see if the one in the other box is the same the two boxes here oh no this is a variation look at that this one's got the blue driver this gray wheels this one's got the black driver wow that's cool that is cool one of these is probably harder than the other that is a beauty Number three is the 1907 London E tram car. Let's see which one we got. Got the gray wheels. News of the world. Looks like a cream top. A little dusty. It's very nice. Very, very nice. Isn't that pretty? That is a cool model. This one's dusty. This one's been out on display. Let's take a look in the 1963 catalog at the models of yesteryear. This is a cool catalog. Look at that. There's the gas station. Don't you love the gas station? Super sweet. It's a nice little setup. Oh, here they are. All right, there they are. Just open the London E. Next one is the Shan Mason, number four. Or no, sorry. Yeah, number four. What do I got over here? I see this one. Um, I've actually got the Sentinel Steam Wagon, so it's an earlier one. 64, they changed it to the Shan Mason. Look at all those pictures. Well, that's cool. Doesn't that bring back memories? Or for you younger guys, probably never seen these before. And it's really neat. Oh, that's funny. The Renault picture is a lot different than the car. 
International price list, 1963. Hmm. So number four is the Sentinel Steam Wagon. This is a real needy, neat one. I got a bunch of these. I bought in a collection a few years ago, like a dozen of these. They got crazy on them. Oh, this one's got a little corrosion there in the bay in the bed. But it's beautiful otherwise. Isn't that neat? That is really neat. Yep, that's a super sweet piece. Number five is the 1929 Le Mans Bentley. The Le Mans Bentley. Oh, look at that. That's nice. Wow. That is cool. Got the gold painting on there. I never noticed that before. The silver thing's sticking out there. This might be one of the early ones. That is neat. That is a really neat car. Uh-oh. That number is gone. That's too bad. This really has beautiful wheels. Really nice otherwise. That's too bad. Things happen. These matchbox are always just a bit fragile in some, some ways. Number six, the 1916 AEC Y-Type Lorry. And the, look at this guy. This is cool. These things look old, don't they? So they made this model from 1956 till 1961. And then they replaced it with a Bugatti. About five years. That's cool. Not sure if a kid would have bought this. I think these were bought by adults as a collectible. Sure would display nice. I've got a second one of these. Let's open it up and see if there's a variation. Oh, yeah, I would call that a variation. It's actually a different model altogether. This is the uh, number two with the blue man again. So that goes in another box, and then this is an empty box. All right, number seven, 1914. 1914 one-ton Leyland van. I think it's called that. 1914 Leyland van. All right. Look at that. That's cool, huh? This one was made from like 1957. What's 1957 until 1961? About four years. Just about the same age as me. Back from the 50s. Here's the number eight, 1958 made, started making them, the Morris Collie Bullnose, number eight. They made that till 1962. All right, here it is. Oh, look at that, isn't that cute? That's a neat piece. Wow, got a little running, or a little, uh, what's that, rumble seat on the back? Got three of these. Let's see if there's any variations in these boxes. Let's take a look. Mm -hmm. mm, no, don't think so. One more. Let's see, Morris Cali Bonos. This is one of the more popular of the A series. Yeah. Uh oh, there's a variation. Broken tire. That always sucks. Broken tire. You really got to watch, you know, look at these things carefully. Although it's got a kind of a variation, a little darker gold, but it's not really a serious variation. But that's sad. A broken tire. Okay. Something you have to deal with when you collect matchbox. Got to watch out for those things. I didn't have a number nine to show. That's the Fowler Showman's engine. I think there's one in the next series box. Oh, look at this. This is the number 10, the 1908 Grand Prix Mercedes. It's really nice. Very, very clean. Look at that. Got a little exhaust pipe going down the back. That's a neat one. You know, when you collect cars, a handy item to have around is this electronics duster stuff. I get mine at Costco in a six pack. You use that to just gently blow things away. In this case, the dust doesn't blow off, but you do have to be careful with that stuff. You don't want to blow it against labels, decals, and that sort of thing. 
Let's see what, see what we got in the box here. Oh, look at that. We got a matchbook in there. That leaves. I wonder why they put that in there. Might have been to, because this didn't have a end cap piece there, so it's missing that. Number 10. Number 11, a road roller. Number 11, 1920 Aveline Porter Steam Road Roller. Look at that guy. Ooh, that gold. That's sharp. Had it sharp on there, isn't it? Road roller. That is nice. Beautiful. That is beautiful. This is interesting. I have this empty box. It's a sixty it's a number six, but it's the supercharged Bugatti. So it it replaced this model in nineteen sixty one, so this one came first and then this one. I don't think I've seen this box before. That's pretty cool. That the empty box. And number eleven we were on, now number twelve. The horse bus. Horse bus? There it is. Horse bus. This one has the brown horses. I think there's also black horses. Nice piece. Brown horses. Alright, that's nice. And that's number twelve. Number thirteen is the nineteen or the 1862 Santa Fe locomotive, which I have in the next style box, but not in this style, the early box. This is the first yesteryear's box, but I do have the number 14A Duke of Connaught locomotive. There she is. A beautiful mint piece. It's amazing how these look. The gold just shines. Gold on the boiler. That is beautiful. So, that is, I think, let me double check all of the yesteryear's in the A-Series box. So. Here I found the number nine. Thought I didn't have one. Fowler Showman's engine in the A-Series box. Oh, there we go again. Dang it. <laughs> That's funny. So here's another one of these. Remember, we found one hiding in another box. Well, we did it again. So I'm going to start on the B-Series box. Not the B-Series box, but the second uh, variation of the box. And they have A and B models in them. So let's get started on that. Okay, here's the first one I have. It's the Shan Mason horse-drawn fire engine number Y4. Let's see what we got. Oh, we've got the uh, white horses. Nice. I think that's the harder to get one. I don't think I've had white horses before. That is nice. Look at that. Got the guys on there. Oh, come on. There we go. That is a nice, nice piece. Beautiful. The Y5 is a 1929 Le Mans Bentley. We've got a few of these. Oh no, this is the uh, more modern one. Look at that. Nice wire wheels on there. Got the green tonneau cover. Nice shiny in the front. Look how shiny that is. That's neat. That really is a beautiful race car. Did I say 1929 Bentley on that? This is actually the 1920 4.5 liter Bentley. So just to clarify on that before we go on to the next model, which the next one I have in this series is the Y9, which is the Fowler Showman's engine which we did not have in that bo other box in the A-Series. So let's see what we got here. All right, we've got the maroon with the gold boiler, that piece right there. There's a couple variations on this. I think four or five variations on this model. There's this lighter color and a darker color. Let's see what we got. We got two of them in box. No, got an empty box over here. Okay, so we got one of those. Fowler Showman's engine. Number 10 is the Mercedes, Mercedes 36-220. This is a very nice model. Oh, look at that. Oh, this one's got some glue on it or something. Hmm. Let me get that off. 
All right. Look at that. Now this one is, I think this one is damaged actually. It's supposed to have tires on the back here, I believe. I don't know if there's a variation without tires. This looks like maybe they come off. We'll have to check on that. Yeah, that's definitely, I don't think it's, yeah, you know, I think this is supposed to have tires on it. Had one earlier. All right. Here's the 11 1912 Packard Lawn Delay, the one that looks like the Monsters Coach. Oh, and as always, the seats fall out. Oh, this is an interesting color. I think this might be a little different variation. It looks, it's very, very dark red. Definitely have to look this one up with the silver. It doesn't look familiar at all. It looks like it has a gold wheel on the front and a silver wheel on the back as well. Silver, silver. It's definitely gold. That's interesting. That could be something special. You never know. That's really cool. Silver on the back. I don't know if that's supposed to look like that or not. It's a neat piece. I haven't had one of these in forever. <clears throat> Probably a lot harder than I thought to get one of these. Y12. That is the horse bus. Really, really cool. Horse bus Y12. Maybe just mark this down. Oh, let's see. Let's see which one is in here. All right, brown horses. I think I had another one. It's pretty similar. This one's nice and clean. Very, very nice. I have got to make a display for these. These things are just so cool. You know, anybody you showed these to would be very impressed. Y13, I got a couple of them. Here's one not in a box. And here's a, one in a box. <clears throat> Let's see if they're the same. Yeah, they look the same. It's a neat model, Santa Fe. Very, very cool. Number 14, looks like all I have is an empty box. Is there one of these sitting on the floor somewhere? Hmm. Let me look for that. Let's move on to number 15, which is like the first car. This is the first, is this the first car? No, we had the Londelay, so, but this is the one that, this was a new, when they changed from the A box to the B box, I think they had this, number 15 came into play. They had 14 models before that? Let's. This is always popular, this Rolls Royce. Very nice. All right. It's real pretty, isn't it? You know what would be cool? I think, I think these models of yesteryear really deserve a special kind of display case made for them be very very cool what is this wait a minute this is 16 okay all right that's the little yellow guy this is the spiker veteran automobile spiker these seats always fall out neat a spiker wouldn't that be fun to ride in that why not let's see what else i got Yeah, check this one out again. We looked at it earlier. This is the number seven Mercer race about. Just kind of cleaning up the tail end of all these cars. I'm gonna write this one down. Loose on the list. Pretty. And here's one with the tires on it. I see, yeah, that's where they connect in there. Like that one we just looked at, which this is the Mercedes Grand Prix. It's got the tires on it like it's supposed to. That other one was missing. Here's a couple more of these. Number six. Four and a half liter Bentley. Oh dear. What in the world is that? 
so this one's got something glued onto the bottom of it. Looks like they uh, had it on a diorama. Oh boy, I think I'll just leave that on there. That looks like that's permanent. That's funny. Must have been glued to a diorama. Looks like it was in the mud. There's another one there. And one more tractor engine. And that'll end, that'll end our yesteryears for today. And thanks for joining me. Come back, watch all my videos. The next video in this series will cover the yesteryears in the C and D series boxes, at least as I know them. I think that's what the, I can call them for now. And then we'll go over some of the other Matchbox. We've got a lot more Matchbox to cover in these videos. So thanks for joining me, and we will see you again.